Hello, my name is Prince Bear here, and we're here today with something new for you. We are at the IAPA Expo. That's the right. IAPA. IAPA. It's like a theme park expo. Our very first time here. We were hosted and invited by the IAPA, IAPA team themselves to come here and show you guys everything they have to offer this year. Everything new coaster uh, announcements, food, beverage, arcade games, the likes. We're going to show all of it to you guys. So, Let's get inside and have some fun. Be sure to subscribe. You heard the girl. What better interest in a coaster track? It is so cool. I'm excited. and connect in a way that can only happen at an IAPA event. I'm excited to share this year's program with you because our IAPA team, along with a dedicated group of member volunteers, have put together an agenda that truly has something for everyone. We can't wait for you to see this year's trade show floor, which features 1,080 exhibitors this year and another 218 first-timers. This year's uh, program includes a robust conference program, which features 129 education sessions, seven edge tours featuring Orlando attractions, and over 40 networking opportunities and special events. We're also thrilled to bring back the triumphant return of our Brass Ring Awards ceremony. And of course, the party you won't want to miss on 30, Thursday night, IAPA celebrates at Universal's Islands of Adventure. Today's opening ceremony will set the tone for this year's expo. We'll hear from our president and CEO, Hal McAvoy, our chairman of the board, Ken Whiting, and our new incoming chairman of the board, Jim Patterson. We'll also be showcasing the best of what our industry has to offer with the return of our What's New video. We'll hear from today's keynote speaker, Abigail Posner, who I'm sure will leave you feeling invigorated and inspired as you head into a new year. Finally, you may have noticed when you entered the theater, you have a special package on your seat. Please set this aside for later on in the ceremony. It'll be a moment you won't want to miss. As you can imagine, an event of this size involves careful planning and execution. I want to say thank you to my IAPA colleagues for all of their hard work, and thank you to everyone in attendance for being here and making IAPA Expo the place to be. I look forward to meeting, yes, thank you. is a driving force behind Kidzania. He took the idea of child role play and turned the concept into an extremely innovative and popular edutainment attraction. Thank you, Ayapa, for this prestigious distinction. Ayapa is right when saying that it starts with a dream, then it becomes a vision, and finally, it's brought to life. I believe that all of us here had a dream and worked extremely hard to make it a reality. But it is never a one man's endeavor. Here, today, I am proud of representing my team, Kitsania, and my country, Mexico. Congrats to my fellow inductees, Joan Gantz Tony, Darren Metzger, and Dennis Spiegel. You, along with all prior Hall of Fame inductees, are an inspiration and remarkable representatives of our dear industry. Dan Metzger has become a true icon. His career started in 1973 as a manager at Disneyland, overseeing various day-to-day -day operations at the California Park. He was then tapped for an assignment in Japan. <laughs> in 
amusement park in Cincinnati. Dennis learned the business from the ground up. He began working at Coney Island full-time after graduating high school and joined the team planning Kings Island. Dennis was named assistant general manager by the time Kings Island opened in 1972. Honored to accept this nomination as an inductee to the IAPA Hall of Fame. Thank you to the IAAPA and the Hall of Fame Committee. IAPA has been a part of my life as long as I can remember. Together as a family, go hand in hand. Joan had a passion to educate children through entertainment. Good morning. Welcome. You know, this is just the beginning of a spectacular week designed to grow your business, strengthen relationships, build friendships, and support you and your company as you find new levels of success in the industry of fun. 2022 has been a remarkable year for the global attractions industry, even though there have been challenges. Our regional teams produced a calendar full of connection opportunities that brought the industry together, both in person and virtually, to move us all forward. Our Latin America team hosted a successful IAPA Summit in Imazu Falls, Brazil, with a post tour in Rio de Janeiro, and the virtual safety month where safety experts shared best practices to promote the highest safety standards in our industry. Facing limitations for in-person gatherings, the IAPA Expo Asia team did a virtual conference, featured a variety of educational sessions presented by leading industry professionals. As restrictions have recently eased last month, the IAPA team hosted their largest in-person event since 2019 with the first ever trade summit in Bangkok, Thailand. Our Europe, Middle East, and Africa team hosted a successful IAPA Expo in Europe, welcoming more than 11,000 registered attendees, a turnout that fuels our optimism for the future. They also offered events for industry leaders and young professionals in Italy, France, Dubai, Belgium, and the Netherlands. Our North America team had an exceptional year hosting meetups around the country, offering a successful FEC summit, and our new public affairs conference in Washington, D.C. I want to thank the entire IAPA team for their tireless passion for servicing our members in this industry. Please, let's give them a round of applause. To step into this role and lead IAPA to the next chapter. It's wonderful to see this energy in this room, to see all of you being here, and to really kick off a great week. Helen mentioned our many events around the world, where we connect you and to your fellow industry peers to learn with each other, to learn from each other, to network with each other, and to really promote our industry. But IAPA is so much more than just those events. Our team around the world will continue to work hard on your behalf to provide you even more ways to connect with each other, to provide news and research trends, <coughs> safety, security, sustainability, public advocacy, and really try to help on your behalf to promote this industry. I very much look forward to have you join this exciting journey with us, and let's have a great, a great ride together. Thank you very much for being here, and have a great week. Bye. Thank you, Good morning. After a four-year pause, the Applause Award is again celebrating the best of the best parks in the world. And again, this year we have three outstanding parks of people. <laughs> Let's meet our three finalists.
insight, the originality, the innovation and the leadership celebrated by the Apostle Award. But there can only be one winner. After thorough deliberation, the Applause Awards Board of Governance has selected the 2022 recipient of the award with the following motivation. With a mix of world-class attractions, exceptional shows, outstanding theming and flawless operation, this park was by many regarded as almost perfect. When it was built in 2001, it was one of the most ambitious park developments ever, and it is still one of the most beautiful theme parks in the world. Yeah. And the winner of the 2022 Applause Award is Disney Sea Tokyo. Hello everybody, my name is Miko Takano, Executive Vice President of Oriental Land Company. It is with great honor that I received the prestigious applause award today. I want to thank the Board of the Governors for evaluating Tokyo Disney Sea in such high regard. Tokyo Disney Sea was Oriental Land and Walt Disney Company that together created the most beautiful theme park in the world. I hope that many of you will be able to enjoy the beauty of the park and the beauty of the park. And I hope that you will be able to enjoy the beauty of the park and the beauty of the park. そして本日この会場にいらっしゃる皆様、皆様とまた日本でお会いできますことを楽しみにお待ちしております。Tokyo Disney Sea is a product of the partnership between Oriental Land Company and the Walt Disney Company, and I, I say with great confidence and pride that it is the most beautiful theme park in the world. As we continue to strive to make it an even more wonderful place to visit, my hope is that many, many more people can experience the beauty and mystique of Tokyo Disney Sea. We hope to see everybody in Japan. Thank you very much. I just have to relish in this. This is so awesome to be here in person, to see your faces, to feel your energy exchange. And I was backstage hearing already your, your whoop whoop and your laughter and your clapping. So I know this is going to be super fun. Um, I also want to say thank you so much for having me at this awesome conference. And I just, I'm so excited to be here. How fast a year can go. 12 months ago, I was standing right on the stage when I began my term as the 2022 I am the chairman of the board. It has been a pleasure and an honor to, to serve, to be in that role. I traveled over to I traveled to over a dozen countries and visited over 70 different facilities, amazing theme and amusement parks, aquariums, museums, zoos, bird sanctuaries, dinner shows, big wheels, waterfall and dam tours, resorts and in VR experiences, movie theaters, and several manufacturer and suppliers, all IAFA members. For most of our membership, it has been a difficult couple of years. And while we are all now forward focused, there are headwinds that still exist. Labor, supply chain, and inflationary pressures are impacting everyone. With all the challenges faced, I witnessed our members with a, with a resilience and a resolve for a positive future. And through innovation, creativity, and lessons learned, they are now able to view their attractions and their guest experience through a new lens, creating a stronger future. I entered this year with two initiatives that I wanted to shine a light on. 
First was our collective abilities to invest in the young people we employ and to inspire, educate, and motivate them to consider the parks and attractions industry for their career path. Through the IAPA Foundation and our, and our education team, a focus in that area has occurred and long-term benefits are certain to be realized. Secondly, I want to highlight the growing significance that food and beverage has on both the guest experience and on your bottom line. Within IAPA, there is now an increased number of f and products and services available. Additional exhibitors and product categories are on the show floor. Access to an incredible amount of online education and certifications are in place. A member buying program is in the works and there is more engagement with food and beverage manufacturers and suppliers for their participation and for their benefit. Combined, that will keep IAPA top of mind for, our, for the needs of our food and beverage professionals. My highlights for the year, first we're seeing firsthand the passion and commitment our members have for their business, for the attractions industry, and for IAPA. Also seeing and understanding the sheer breadth of attraction types that find value in IAPA and the opportunity that that creates for our association. And lastly, I found the perfect soft serve, the world's best in Copenhagen. <laughs> Let me close by saying you don't volunteer alone. I have experienced tremendous support from the IAPA Board of Directors. They have worked hard on ensuring that IAPA is well positioned for a post-pandemic world. The team that manages our business, there is just a tremendous comfort when you have the confidence and the support for those, for those who keep things running when you're not there. Of course, my family, their support and understanding is simply necessary for volunteering success. And also the IAPA team. They had my back wherever we traveled and provided communications and support throughout the year. We shall all be grateful for the committed and passionate individuals that show up daily to move our association and industry forward. They are incredible. I'll remain an ambassador and an advocate for our industry, and we are looking forward to spending more time with our nine grandchildren. Our industry delivers experiences, the experience economy is on trend, and the business of fun will prevail. The future looks bright, and the best is yet to come. Thank you for allowing me to serve. Sultan Kosar, Guinness World Record holder and the tallest man in the world. Uh, frankly, after being up there, I'm fine with it. <laughs> so, if you're going to disbelieve it or not, what we tend to celebrate is odd is usual. There's nothing wrong with being different, and that's what we want everyone to be. If you work with our Guinness World Records company, our sister brand, they celebrate inclusivity, diversity, and that everyone is officially amazing. And that's what we all want to celebrate because that's what you are, officially amazing in this industry. And I want to thank all of our manufacturers, suppliers, and consultants for putting on a fantastic show, taking the risk and spending the money so that it brings us all together. What do you say about that? <laughs> so the other thing, I think it's important that people ask me all the time, they go, what are you going to be doing as chair? And I went, well, Dennis Spiegel told me he didn't do much of anything. <laughs> <laughs> So I thought, okay, that's not a bad job. 
<laughs> and I think we got a lot of good people you saw going into the Hall of Fame. Congratulations. But here's the one thing that I was trying to figure out. So I get to go up here and do this. Once in a while, I'll snip a ribbon. Occasionally, I go to a meeting. And then I went, well, what's the best part of the job? The best part of the job is I get to go visit you. I get to go around the world and see what your businesses, your attractions, and everything you do. And I can't be happier, and I, can, I cannot be happier than doing that as I am today. So, so what, what, are you gonna, what difference do you make? And I said, I don't make any difference, I just like to travel. <laughs> <laughs> so what I thought, what I'd like to bring up with everybody here, is we've been through three really hard years. We've had to support with a, in tough times, we've had to look after our guests, we've had to look after our employees, we've had to look after our families, we've had to look after uh, all of the people that surround us in our daily lives and a lot of tough decisions were made. So here's what I think. What I'd like to do, I'd like to start having some fun. Anybody with that? talking about you because you work so hard and you need to have fun and let's start this week let's get up there on the floor and here's another piece of advice why don't you go in and let's go buy something <laughs> okay it doesn't have to be big just buy something it's so over here you can still mingle by the way if you're gonna if you're gonna sell something sell it be good you don't know, do a little dance do a pirouette. <laughs> I'm just saying, whatever it takes, but be nice and friendly and have fun. Why can't we laugh at what we're doing? This is what we do. And I think we can have more fun together starting this year because we're starting to come out of the crisis. And well, there's a few places that still aren't there yet, but I believe that we are going to have a great time. Now, I'd like to give you a glimpse of some of the incredible innovations that people in this very room dreamed up this year. So let's roll the North, Lat North and Latin American regions What's New video from 2022.
Nothing to do. Attendees, please do not activate your twister and watch the safety video. Thank you. To launch, simply twist the bottom. Alright, so we just finished the opening ceremony. I am back here in the car. And where's Bear? Well, you know what, you guys? We actually do work our nine to five jobs. And I got a half day from work. Bear actually had another expo to go to today. So he is at that expo, but he will be with us on other days. I did want to show you. I just stopped by the car because I forgot my water. And I wanted to show you guys this official. Guinness record that we just participated in for popping silly string? What's it called? Launching confetti can cannons simultaneously. So there's our one win for today. If we do anything, it's that. And now back to the show floor. The sheer number of things here is pretty incredible. Oh god. And school board. Expos like these where you can actually merge point. Today is going to be a great day. Thank you for joining us here today. 
starting to rain. We saw the opening ceremony. We walked around the floor a little bit. Bear had to go to his expo. I have to go back to work, but we will be back tomorrow with just me and then Bear the next couple of days after that. So be sure to subscribe. We have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. Boop. Until tomorrow!